Our epistle lesson for today can be found in. Who are you? My name is Elliot, uh, and I know you are new here, but this is the time of the service where our Bethany Purpose gave a children's sermon. Oh, I am so sorry. I forgot. <laughs> I am so sorry. Well, proceed, please. It is okay, Pastor. Our puppets are very forgiving. Oh, I'm very thankful for that. Thank you. Yum, yum. This fresh bread sure is good. Hi, Candy. What do you have got there? Woof, 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 woof. What? I said it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on white bread, Elliot. And now I know why you people go to church. Candy, what does a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on white bread have to do with us going to church? Free food, of course. And that's an incentive that appeals to any kid. You never told me you guys get free food at church, Elliot. Bread, cups of juice. Is it always grape or do you get orange too? Oh, and what about mango juice? I just love mango juice. Katie, are you talking about when we have communion at church? Well, sure, Elliot. Why didn't you tell me that you get fed when you go to church? Or are you afraid that us kids will come in and eat it all? That hurts, Elliot. That really hurts. No, 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 Katie. You got the wrong side of the coin, as so to speak. They give away free money at church, too? Yippee! I'm going to like this church thing. No, 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 Katie. No free money. No free snacks. We do take communion when we go to church sometimes. What is communion? Is that when you eat those biscuit cookies? Like I said, I like this church thing. It's a lot of food. No, Katie. We use those biscuit cookies to remind ourselves that Jesus died on the cross for us. What does... Biscuits remind you of him. Did he eat biscuits first? Well, almost. You see, Candy, Jesus had a meal with his friends just before he died for us. At that meal, Jesus gave some bread and wine to his friends and told them that he was going to die for them. He said to them that after he had died, all his friends should take the bread and wine to remember what he did for us on the cross. So those biscuits remind us of the Jesus' body and that all, that all got beaten and cut when he died for us on the cross. So you do eat a lot at church and get fed. <laughs> we do after church sometimes during fellowship, but more importantly, we are fed by God, but not in the way you might think. Huh? See, Candy, it's like this. We get fed in church on something that Jesus called the bread of life. In fact, Jesus said that he is the bread of life. I don't get it. Then I'll explain. You see, Candy, a lot of people are hungry in this world, both in their bellies like you and in their hearts and souls. So just like when I get hungry in my belly and my tummy starts to hurt, some people are hungry in their hearts and their hearts start to hurt? In a manner speaking, yes. In other words, a lot of people don't know about God, and they don't ha have many things to be thankful for. Sometimes they can't see that God provides everything we need to be happy. Like what? Well, like friends. Remember you and I first met at school? Remember how lonely you felt? And I remember how I felt lonely too, because my friend Cindy had just moved away the month before, and I was so sad. But then I met you, and I knew that God had sent me to meet you so you could have a new friend, and I could have a new friend. Yeah, God really knew what doing when he brought us together, huh? Yes, he did, Candy. Friends forever. <laughs> and God also gives us family, like our moms and our dads and our grandmas and grandpas, and God gives us gifts to use, like Miss Regina, who teaches Sunday school, or Miss Pat, who reads from the Bible some Sundays, or Mr. Hessman, who plays in the praise team band, or Mr. Witt, who films our puppet plays. Those are all the ways that God feeds our hearts and our souls. I see. So God does an awful lot to feed us, doesn't he? Yes, he does, Candy. But you know what? What? The best way that God feeds us, his greatest gift of all, 
is the bread of life. You mean Jesus, right? Yes, Jesus is the best way that God feeds us because he loves us more than anything. And he promised to be with us forever and always. And Jesus died on the cross and rose again from the dead just so we can always be with him when we die and go to heaven someday. That is another reason we celebrate communion. Wow, what a wonderful gift. Everybody should know about Jesus, the bread of life. You sure are lucky to be able to go to church and learn all about Jesus. That's true, Candy, and you can come too. And we should always be thankful for Jesus, the bread of life, who feeds our hearts and our souls. He's God's greatest gift to all of us. And Candy, you know what? What, Elliot? Jesus, the bread of life, is a gift from God that never runs out. In fact, we can share Jesus' love with everyone we know, and he still has more love to give. That's some gift. Sure is better than this peanut butter and jelly sandwich on white bread. It sure is, Candy. It sure is. <laughs> Pastor! Pastor! The puppy play is over there. You can have your sermon. Well, thank you, Elliot.